hi friends welcome back or welcome if you're new so i have a new thing and i also have my son with me today we are filming in the afternoon we just got home and this is new to me all right <laughs> and um so i just i'm like in a planner dilemma but i bought something new <laughs> because i couldn't help myself thanks babe thank you thank you for sharing your agua and so I bought some things. Let me get this out and let me show you what I bought and then show you, just talk through my dilemma. All right, so I did a thing. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. What, what'd you see? All right, so I bought this A6 Avec. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh no way oh my gosh this is so cute this is too cute okay papa okay there you go oh my goodness no this is too adorable this is too adorable okay so this is adorable and of course i've been eyeing this cover for a year seems like let me get it out okay Oh my gosh, this is too adorable. This is so nice. I love this. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I have a, a really pretty A6 cover that I bought on Etsy, but it's quite flimsy compared to this. I really like this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I've been eyeing this, like I said, for a year. Let's get it in here. And this is the Liberty Fabrics. I think it's called Neon or Purple or something. Do you need help? Okay, oh my gosh, that is too cute. Um, this is perfect for right now, uh, this time of year where it's spring and summery and I just want like really pretty pastels and vibrant colors. This is so adorable. And then of course this. I'm just gonna stick the back cover in for now. Oh my gosh, okay. I did not realize how much I was gonna like this. This is just too cute. Okay, and then I misplaced my stencil, so I bought another one, and then I got this one as well. I forgot what drew me to this. I don't know. And then I got a pencil board for my Hobonichi Week. The shipping straight from the Hobonichi store is um, expensive, but it came so fast. I ordered this on early Monday morning. It is now Friday afternoon, and... Um, yeah, it, it came really fast, so I cannot complain about that. Um, and I think for everything combined, like, I paid what I would have paid um, had I ordered it from some U.S. vendor, I think. Plus, I don't think I would have been able just to get the this this book alone with, with the cover. So this just worked out best for me. Um, so I'm not going to open those because that's not what I want to talk to talk about today. Um, here are my issues that I'm that I'm facing at the moment. Um, my weeks is getting quite chunky, as you can see. And when I lay it down, it, 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 it won't shut, right? So I'm thinking I'm going to try a little DIY project for this um, because part of me wants to buy a new one and start a new one for the second half of the year, but um, <laughs> I've already laid down stickers for, uh, July and August, um, as far as, like, my health log goes, and I don't want those to go to waste. So, there's that. Also, I love the idea of being able to have, like, one full year in one book. Um, I've never really had that. This is the first time that, like, I'm actually sticking to a planner, um, and that I'm consistent in it, and I love that for me. <laughs> Um, I've used like Happy Planner Minis, I've used 7 by 9 Erin Condren's before, both the academic and the regular horizontal. Um, I've tried the A5 Compact Vertical from, from Erin Condren, and just like, I don't know, all of that, it was just too much space, too much for me to keep up with, but this here just seems perfect, right? I have this here for my daily stuff, and then, um, I just, I love this grid page on this side where I can just use it for whatever I want and if whatever I use it for this week doesn't work in two weeks I can change it right and I love that I love 
I just, I really love this planner. Um, so I kind of want to keep everything in here for the whole year, but, um, I need to find a way to keep this close because I don't carry much in my day-to-day -day, like purse. Um, but I still like my wallet, you know, and it just, I don't want my, I don't want this to, I don't want to rip my pages is basically what I want to say. And, um, I tried putting this in the Moterm cover that I have and it won't, it won't close. So yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to think of a way to add an elastic here, um, a la Traveler's Notebook style. So there's that. That's what's going on here. And I got this because I really like the cover, the back of this. So um, I don't know if I really like pencil boards, but since I was ordering stuff and I've, you know, been eyeing this, I decided just to add it onto my order. So that's that with my weeks, um, trying to figure out the cover situation and keeping it shut. And if I can figure that out, then I will stick um, stick it out this year with this planner, which is like option A, right? Um, option B would be, okay, scrap it, get a new one for the remainder of the year, and that's fine. And actually, I could get like a spring start. I don't know. Anyway, that's that with my weeks. I'm at a dilemma. I can't decide. Here's another thing I can't decide. Um, as far as my b6 common planner i want to kind of switch things up but i kind of don't but i bought this when i when i did want to switch things up <laughs> because and i know that i've mentioned this before um that i love it like in the in the hobonichi cousin when um people you know do their memory keeping in here and they have like the cute little like icony doodles stickers in here as a memory keeper type of thing like I I really like that I think that's so cute and at one point I was putting that like let me try to find a page um see at one point I started doing that just like in my journal back here I started putting stickers like in my journaling and that's cute too but sometimes like um now with our new schedule here at home I don't have the time to dig through stickers and all of that while I am journaling. Like sometimes like I, it's just me straight up just writing because um, that's just what I have time for. That's what I've been um, just doing, right? That's what feels good right now to me is just writing. And um, so here you go. And I'm really enjoying this on Monday, friends. Like it was a day. I took three pages of journaling. But sometimes like recently it's just been I've been pushing myself to one page a day right now because um, we're halfway through the year and I'm like not even on a page 120 in my um, blank pages back here. So anyway, all of that being said, right now I am using my um, weeklies to do like scripture writing. And I'm thinking about not doing this in here, but doing it in an A6. Obviously still using deco in here, taking space with the deco and not overwhelming myself with having to fill up this entire page uh, with scripture writing. But that way I can use my weeklies in here for uh, gratitude, um, maybe a little memory keeping like my husband specific, my son specific, and then like everything else. I really like the B6 size because I don't feel overwhelmed by all of the space. So I was thinking about that, but right after I ordered this very impulsively, do you need help, baby? Let me help you. There you go. Right after ordering this very impulsively, I was flipping through this and I'm like, um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about like, you know, this looking this way for the first half of the year and then in the second half of the year having it look more memory keepy with um a bunch of little icon stickers and just having different information on there so today i was thinking that i could still do the scripture writing stuff in here and do what i want um, to try in here for the future so I think that I'll use like um, the space here for gratitude uh, something about my husband something about my son and then the rest of the space that's available for that day to do my scripture writing so that way it still 
<laughs> you need help? So that way it still looks full, you know, full of writing. And if, and so I'm not going to push myself to use stickers in, in here yet, but I'm going to try to incorporate that information in here, but still make it look <laughs> like this. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so now I have this that I don't necessarily need because I figured out how to do it all in here. But I do have like fountain pens that I enjoy using that I enjoy filling up and, and stuff like that. So, and I have like all of this pet tape and stickers and stuff that I want to use. So I think that I'm still going to use this because this is much more portable because sometimes I do get behind in my scripture writing. Like, um, today is the 30th and this morning I caught up, I think I was like midweek two weeks ago. So I finished off this page and I did this week and then I did these days here to get caught up um, just because I want it to look full. So this here is too heavy for me to carry with me. Let's say I have some downtime somewhere like at my mom's house or I don't know anywhere. Um, this is too heavy for me to take with me. I don't I don't and I don't want to carry that with me just to be able to catch up when um when I have time this is too heavy so that's why I'm thinking that I'll still do the scripture writing in here maybe I won't push myself to do it like every day but I just I want to see what it's like to carry this with me for that purpose um yeah I don't know I think that's what I'll do I hope that my son hasn't been too distracting he's he's so cute though I can't like hey baby Anyways, friends, so that's kind of what I'm thinking um, as far as my D6. And now this, I cannot tell you how cute this is. It's just so adorable. Um, just too cute. Too, too cute. Um, plus, the cover is so pretty. This pink is quite very uh, neon more than anything else I have. But it's not too much. It's not too much. I like it. And I like that I can reach this back pocket back here. Uh, so, yeah, I I'm glad I have this so I can try it out and if this doesn't work then I don't have to keep doing it. I'm not going to put pressure on myself for this one. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. I just, I want to try it out. I want to try it out because if, if this works then I'll be able to do like my memory keepy stickery stuff in my weeklies in here um, next year. And I think that that's, hi, hi. That's what I want to do. Um, however, <laughs> in saying this, I'm reminded I was watching a video and um, the the person said that she's not in a rush to buy or figure out her 2024 lineup because she will be a completely different person um, in six months than she is now. And and that's true. And that's true. But I really like the things that I'm in. And as cute as all of the other planners look, I am not tempted to try them because I like what I have and it works for me. And these layouts, um, both in the Sterling Ink Common Planner and with my Hobonichi, um, I feel like they are very customizable to me so that if I could get over... <laughs> Hi! If I could get over the different looks, you know, um, hi, then I could switch things up however I want um, in the future. But for now, like, I, I really like this. I've pre-ordered my B6 from Sterling Inc. I'm waiting for Hobonichi's release so I can buy my Hobonichi for next year. Um, hi. hi! But I think that I'm going to use um, this hi. hi at least July to try to switch things up a little bit and fine-tune my little routine. Hi hi and to fine-tune my systems hi he's like, he's like mommy why are you talking to yourself let me talk to you <laughs> hi so yeah i think that that's what i'm doing i'm gonna take um july to to sh switch things up and then take the rest of the year to fine-tune things because i do want to switch i do want to change um i would like to have my scripture writing separate from this have this be more memory keeping and journal um, stay at home never have never feel like I need to take it out to catch up um, that's this and then this is much more portable where I could take this to um, do scripture writing get us a what 
So that's it, friends. Um, now I'm just rambling, talking in circles, um, but I will leave it there. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas as far as this, um, any input on any of this, or um, what you're doing with your planners. Um, I, I love to know what everyone else is doing. So if you have a channel um, and I don't follow you, please let me know down below that you have a channel. I'd love to come and watch your videos um, because I like seeing everybody's planners. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Bye.